So get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. The original price of a TV decreases by 20%. By what percent must the discounted price increase to reach its original value? Okay, so this is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so we have a TV and it's going to be discounted 20% off its original price, i.e. this is a sale. Hey, look, it's 20% off. So 20% off means that what? Well, you're actually um, still have to pay 80% of the original uh, price. That's just one way to look at it, right? If it's 20% off, you're just paying 80% of the original price. Now, the question is, what percent of increase, how much do we have to increase this price, this sales price, to get back to the original price? Okay, now this could be a little bit confusing. So we have to first uh, come up with, um, you know, figure out what the sales value is, the sales discounted price is, and then we need to know what the original price is, and then we need to figure out the percent of increase. So I'm going to show you two different approaches you can take here. Now, there are probably other approaches, but one great method that you can use to solve a lot of math problems is uh, simply just plug in some numbers and see what happens. <laughs> now, it's a little bit more uh, than that, but you might be saying, boy, we don't know the price of the TV, so how can I figure this out? Well, let's just come up with a price, okay, and then see what the um, uh, you know percent of increase is going to be. Now, if you're going to come up with a, a price for this TV, make it uh, something that's super easy to work with, i.e. a value that's easy to work with. So I'm gonna use $100. Now we know TVs cost more than $100. I could have used $1,000, but I'm just gonna use $100 because it doesn't make a difference whether I use 100, 500, 10,000, 1,000, the percent of increase is going to be the same. So uh, let's go ahead and suppose that our um, original price for this TV is a hundred dollars. So if the original price is a hundred dollars and it's 20% off, well, we have to figure out what 20% off a hundred dollars is. And uh, hopefully a lot of you uh, can just do this basic math in your head. But if you can't, this is what we need to do. We need to find 20% of 100. So how do we find 20% of 100? And again, hopefully most of you can say, well, that's just $20, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Yes, indeed it is. But to find a percent of a number, remember what we need to do is change the percent to a decimal. So 20% uh, is the same thing as 0 0.20. We're going to multiply that by 100. And of course, we're going to get 20. So 20% uh, to um, write a percent as a decimal, remember the steps um, we have to take is that we divide by 100 or we move the decimal point over two places to the left. So just basic percent skills. And if you're a little bit um, unsure on how to find a percent of numbers, I'll, I'm going to give you some suggestions on how you can improve in uh, percent here in a moment. But anyways, 20% off the original price of $100 is $20, right? So what is our sales price? Well, we're knocking $20 off the price, right? The regular price. So the sales price is $100, which is the normal price, minus 20, which is $80, okay? Now, I think a lot of you could have just, you know, uh, kind of figured out, oh, you're taking 20% off $100, you know, that means that the sales price is $80, but that's fine. Uh, you know, I kind of want to break this through step by step because I'm going to do this prompt using some algebra here in a second, okay? So it's just good to walk through all these steps uh, for those uh, people out there that need to see them. Okay, so our sales price in this case is um, $80. So uh, let's go back to this part of the question. By what percent must the discounted price, which is the sales price, have to increase to reach its original value? 
So here is our sales price. It's $80. Our original value is $100. So how much do we have to increase 80 to get back to 100? Okay. So this is a percent of increase type of question. Very common type of math question. And uh, you have to remember what the formula is for percent of increase. Now, with experience, you don't even have to remember the formula, but, uh, uh, you know, because you just kind of know how to do it. Uh, and by the way, too, percent of increase works the same way, uh, more or less, as the percent of decrease. All right, so we're asking the question here, well, what percent do we have to increase 80? Okay, not 100. What percent do we have to increase 80 to get to 100? So again, we're dealing with percent of increase, and let's go ahead and take a look at the formula. Now, this isn't the actual perfect formula. I just kind of simplified it in this way. So the percent of increase effectively is equal to the new price, okay, minus the old price. There's a more formal way of writing this, but I think this way um, is still, you know, understandable for most people out there. I'm just trying to keep things nice and simple. So the percent of increase is going to be equal to the new in this case, new price minus the old price over the old price. In other words, we are comparing this um, difference or this increase to the old or the current price. So what I'm calling here old and new is this. This would be the old price and this is the new price. Right now I could use different uh, you know, descriptions or words to describe this. And again, there is a more formal formula for the percent of increase. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this works. All right. So 80 to 100, we're looking for the percent of increase. Again, how much does 80, what percent does um, 80 have to increase to get to 100? So 80 is going to be the old, okay, and our new price. We're going to increase 80 to get to our new price of 100. So let's go ahead and plug in all these values right here. We'll plug in 100 right here and 80 right there and 80 right there. So uh, uh, what we have is this. So the percent of increase is going to be 100 minus 80 over 80. And when we do this basic math right here, we're going to have 100 minus 80, which, of course, is 20 over 80. So 2 over 8 or 1 fourth is 0.25. OK, so 0.25 is a decimal uh, is 25 percent. OK, so we just take that decimal, multiply by 100 to get to percent. So we'd have to um, increase 80 by 25% to get to 100. All right, so let's make sure we understand that. So we're, uh, our um, sales price, okay, $80, we're going to have to increase this $80 by 25%, okay? So if I said to you, hey, increase that uh, TV price, it's $80, I want to increase the price by 25%, well, 25% would be $20, right? Let's think about it. 50% of 80 is what? Well, that's $40, right? So half of 50% is what? Uh, well, that would be half of this $40, which is $20. So a $20 more on this price, which is $100, is a 25% increase. Okay, so hopefully I didn't confuse <laughs> any of you out there. But again, percent of increase and decrease uh, can be a little bit confusing. So anyways, hopefully this makes sense. Now, this is a great method uh, to solve math problems, which is just uh, test a number, okay? Take a value of something like, all right, well, let me just let this TV equal to $100, $1,000, something that makes sense to you, and then, you know, work the problem out. Now, if you didn't um, choose to do it that way, well, then you can use a variable to represent uh, the price, and I'm going to show you how we can use algebra to solve this same problem. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can, but the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style, and if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. 
All right, now let's go ahead and see how we could use algebra to solve this same problem. So this is kind of a, well, a little bit more sophisticated way to do this problem, uh, but you didn't have to uh, use algebra. Okay, you could have just, uh, you know, come up with a number, some sort of value for the uh, TV and just work the problem as we just saw it. But let's suppose you want to kind of show off to your friends and family and be like, all right, listen, I'm going to I'm going to use some algebra here to solve this problem. So we can let X equal the original price. OK, now the discounted price is what? Well, it's 20 percent off. OK, and 20 percent off is the same thing as 80 percent of the full price. OK, so 80 percent of the full price is a 20 percent uh, discounted price. So if X is the original uh, price, 80% of the discounted price is uh, uh, the same thing as 0 0.80 times X. Remember, we're taking 80% of this number. Okay, so we're going to change the percent to a decimal. So 0.80 X is the discounted price. Okay, so now we have our percent of increase uh, situation. So same formula, right? So we have old price, new price. Here is the formula. So let's go ahead and plug in the new price, okay? Well, the new price is going to be X or the original value, right? It's over here, right? The discounted price or the old price is 0.80X and then we have 0.80X down here in the denominator. So now we have to figure out what X minus uh, 0.80x over 0.80x is equal to. And let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so x, this x right here, really we have a coefficient in front of it, which is 1. All right, so we have 1x minus 0.80x. These are like terms because we both have x's here. So 1 minus 0.80, okay, uh, 1 minus 0.80 is 0.20x. Okay, so we have 0.20x over 0.80x. Uh, we have an, uh, an x uh, factor in the uh, numerator and an x as a factor down in the denominator. So we can simply cross cancel these x's. They go away, and I'm left with 0 0.20 divided by 0 0.80, which is 0.25. All right, so that is the answer as a decimal, but we want to see it as a percent. So we simply multiply it by 100, and we have 25%, which, of course, is the same answer. So two different ways you could have approached this problem. There's, uh, you know, probably other ways that you could do it, but you still have to um, understand this percent of increase and decrease formula, okay? And again, there's various uh, ways that this is kind of explained, but uh, hopefully this made sense to you. Now, I did uh, promise that I was going to give... Um, some recommendations uh, on how you can improve in basic mathematics, percent, uh, fractions, etc. So um, if you want to kind of really improve your basic math skills, I have two fantastic courses for you. So the first is my Math Foundations course. Okay, you'll find links to all these courses in the description. This is a little quick uh, three chapter mini course. Um, it covers uh, fractions, uh, place values, decimals, uh, and percent, okay? So this is a good little review for those of you that just want to kind of strengthen your basic practical math skills. But if you want to take it a step further and learn some algebra and some geometry, maybe some trigonometry, uh, well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course, right? In this course, we start off with basic math, all the same stuff here, and then we get into these other topics as well. So uh, two great courses that you can kind of um, you know check out if you want to get serious about improving your math skills. Also, I have a ton of additional uh, videos on percent on my YouTube channel that you can check out as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.